don't do the game pass. Um, my my best friend does, but I don't play enough of the Xbox to do a game pass. I stopped making sure I was subbed to all that In shit darkness. every month. She slumbers. The only thing I sub to every month as well. Dreams. Speaking of. <laughs> I kind of figured they would show some wow now that they're required. They faced monsters, tyrants, and beasts of primordial horror. Why do I get the feeling this is for classic? Though they fought amongst themselves. Their enmity following them to the most distant shores. We will never be slaves! And even across time. Yes, it is. Space. Well, I'm talking versions. I'm not I'm not like, oh, why why do I get the feeling this is well? No, I'm talking versions. It's you know, but now they're showing more recent wow, so. But the beginning felt very classic-y. Like they were gonna announce, you know, Panda Classic or something. Now, in the darkness, at the very heart of the world, the drums. I thought it was going to be Panda because of the way they were doing it, and then the cat has showed up, and yeah. Clearly, because it's their first show at Xbox, though, they're probably introducing new people to, like, the order. Yeah, I think that's why they're showcasing it the way they are right now. So long denied we shall be mine. Because there's a lot of people that watch like one one gaming show, right? And there's a lot of Xbox people that only watch this showcase. So I imagine we may get, you know, some, um, nice. We got a date now. Very nice. I thought it would be end September, honestly, but August works too. Oh, for sure. War Within was the only one that made sense, but the way they had started it kind of looked classic -y. Yeah, like I said, I think they showed it the way they did because this is the first time the Xbox players are seeing WoW stuff in their showcase, right? So there's a lot of people. Because ironically, even although WoW has been around for 20 years, there's still a lot of people who have no idea what WoW is. And commencing virtuous the average Xbox now. player only looks at their Xbox. So That's why I think that <laughs> as much as I always said it would never happen, I think they need to put WoW on the Xbox. Yeah. I think that's the only way you're gonna really get those Xbox people. Truly. Kinda like uh, Final Fantasy, yeah. You just have to simplify it so it can all go on a controller. But until they do that, I don't think enough would uh, show up. I don't really do Final Fantasy, but I could try it out again. I don't know. I, I tried it out. Like, I do the solo player Final Fantasy games. Um, but the... Back in BFA, I had tried out Final Fantasy 14, And 
it felt very quiet to me. That's what made me leave. I just felt like it, it felt like a lot of dead air in that game. And I, I need those background sounds, you know? Your kind meddled where you shouldn't. But I have heard they have a, a new expansion. But then I don't know if I'd want to even do that because Final Fantasy is kind of like WoW in a sense where if you haven't been in there for a while, you're behind the minute you walk in. Yeah. If it's vengeance you want. Part of me thinks that if I ever, if I ever played another MMO, it would have to be a brand fucking new one that's starting from the very beginning. Yeah. Kind of like I did with WoW. That's why I try out these, like, new MMOs every so often, but none have really interested me. I think in my head there's only one that I think would get me, but we're looking at a super, super long date for that one, and that's the uh, League of Legends one. Uh, and the reason I think that one would be the one to do it is because there's they'd be starting like WoW did with a shit ton of lore and yeah, but all the others Yeah, I've seen some ashes of creation not Not interested and I've played Elder Scrolls online and it's not bad But I just can't get hooked like I do with WoW um, You know the last time I logged into ESO was like three years ago, so so it's a game I clearly can walk away from for a long time. And to me, that's, you know, for an MMO, that's not a good now. game <laughs> for me. I know other people love it, but yeah. You know, for me, it's got to be one of those games that I don't walk away from for more than a couple of days. Uh, I haven't really played Pax Day, but that's not MMO, is it? Like, I, I guess in a sense it is, but isn't it more about, like, building stuff for your your friends and whatever? Yeah, I'm, I'm not really into those building type games. So rise and wield my wrath. I haven't played the Elder Scrolls Online yet. It's not bad, Staffo. As far as like all the ones I have played other than WoW, it it pro it probably got the closest. Uh, but Man, all of these is like play it day one with Game Pass. They they just must make a killing off that Game Pass. <laughs> 